Hello, everybody, and welcome to my Ascension Messages. My name is Bobby Richardson, and I will be your guide for today. So this message that's coming is coming straight from Earth again, because it's, since the last channel message that I did, I started to get all these other messages coming in and also putting together a story that was happening while I was going through some massive shifts and now fully starting to understand what was really going on, because I started seeing my whole world crumble and I started seeing everything coming unstuck, everything coming up apart. Like uh, I really, to be able to handle that, I had to go back into absolute self-love, um, absolute just, just me in the moment because I couldn't, my mind couldn't handle what was going on outside of me with my world starting to crumble. Through that was a massive message and it was on the back of the earth channeling that I did that I started to put two and two together. So that's what this message is all about. A little bit of housekeeping though before we get into that. I am an intuitive counselor and a personal reader. So if you would like to have um, personal reading channeled messages from me um, about you and your soul and your journey and all of that sort of thing, on my website, www.codes to a new reality. I have individual readings or your mission. And I'm also going to bring in group readings. And I'm also going to bring in tarot, just straight tarot oracle readings. Okay, where to start? So I started to see my whole life like crumble and everything just falling apart. And the only way that I could handle that because, because of everything seemingly coming unstuck, it's like my team wanted me to go more and more and more and more into my own self-love. What do I, what do I need? What do I want? And every single moment, and I, I kept doing that in every moment. So it was almost like my team or my own my own reality i started to fixate on the pro, on, on a few problems to the point where everything started to fall away when that happened i realized i started to realize that there's this power that was wanting to come through and i couldn't see it before it actually happened my team literally showed me like their hands coming together and then me sitting in their hands like you are being loved you are being cradled through this transition so that's that's the shift that was happening and the only way that I could see or handle that was to remove myself to find myself now the reason why I'm bringing that up is a bigger bigger reason and it's to do with Gaia and it's to do with humanity going through a massive shift and an understanding now from my own perception of how to how to do this or how, um, what's really going on, at least. I'm going to allow Mother Earth to come in if she wants to through this now, and and my and my team, the Cyanians, but because if they want to give me more information, but I'm going to talk about what I was given and then they will probably come in and out of that conversation because I can feel them like they're present. They might want to say something. So each time I went away, I ended up just coming back into myself and then I felt free, but then there was a yearning and then I'm like, okay, it was like this confusion started to happen within me of, push and pull and then I started to come back to myself and just seeing the world as a beautiful place and that I stayed I kept staying very present they're reminding me now of when I went into a I went with the elder and a whole heap of other people into one of those sweat lodge sweat tp things that they made uh this is because the elder was Cherokee and I was claustrophobic, so I asked to go beside the door. So the only way I could go through this journey, this actual journey, was to put my 
face really close to the ground or Mother Earth and then breathe uh, and become very central, very living in the moment. And each breath I just went, I'm breathing. And that's all I focused on. And it kept my mind at bay from all of the hoo-ha that was happening around me. So this is what was hap- what happened to me in the last, you know, few weeks is literally what's happening to humanity. I really feel it's what's happening to humanity where there's all this chaos that's that's starting to brew around people because they because we have been asked to come into living in the moment as much as what we can. So the chaos is going to keep swirling around us and we're asking, it's literally teaching our mind to shish. Our mind to shish and be very present and just stay in the central place of what's going to make me happy in this next moment and this next moment and just keep moving towards that. Um, But that's not the only thing that came through. It it was also a value of how to kickstart a whole new reality. And I love this. This was this came through me last night. So Mother Earth was talking about the way I was being this base vibration that they they were. Mm, there's a, there was a frequency that they put out that held everything together. Now, last night, while I was in bed, they were showing me Australian elders. This really happened, and they used to gather and they used to connect with the whales. And there was a song to be sung by the whales. Now, now they're bringing up the fact, the fact that I was connected in a way too, because um, a few years ago I went on a whale tour, and um, it was a day. The day before, I was traveling at the top of a mountain. I could see the ocean on my left hand side as I was traveling, and then the whale song, the whale sound came in, and I could hear within my head very quite loudly this I can't say it because you know whale you know the whale sounds was in my head um and then I saw a mum and it's and the the bay a baby and they were swimming beside the boat and I knew then that I was gonna see this mum and this baby but they were already talking to me the day before we were actually going to go on the tour and it's not that you even always see the whales, but the tour group will take you out to where the whales usually go. Um, and then when we went on the tour the next day, what do you know, a mum and its baby was following the boat and actually the baby jumped out right next to me, which was so beautiful to see. Um, so they said that there's a connection between those that are open and um, to be able to receive messages and these whales. And that's why those those were called in the original Australians, the, the, Ma- the Maoris over New Zealand, the original people of the lands have been called uh, before to uh to resonate with the same vibration as the whales because that is the base of all love and that's why they brought me into self-love because they wanted to give me this message through feeling and I couldn't receive it because I hadn't found so I couldn't see the value excuse me just for a minute so I couldn't see the value of my own self and then I couldn't feel this message that was coming through. And 
it washes over me every now and then. So when it does, it can be a bit overwhelming. So sorry about that. So I'm very grateful now for that experience because I realize my own self-love, even more of value. And what happens is that when you come back to that, it was interesting. This is all combined because here's the elders that were singing the song with the whales. The song they are singing now is the be, to connect back to the whales because the back, whales are the base love or the base frequency of love of all that reside on Mother Gaia. So their hum, harmony or vibration that moves through the waters and this is why they're so big so that they can have that bigger vibration that moves through the waters that affects every living thing on this planet and it it keeps it holds the sh- they're telling me it holds the true frequency of of loving self in the form that you're born in. So if you're an animal or a human, it doesn't matter. I mean, we're all part of that um, beautiful life and death scenario where the body goes back to the ground and the, and so forth. Um, so the vi- they were showing me last night, now that you found self-love, now that I've realized that, it's like they're showing me humanity singing a new song because we are now able, like they're showing me the circle of elders that are singing at the to- singing to the whales or talking to the whales through the meeting their vibration, but they can only meet their vibration of the natural program when they have released all of the bits that were clouding their judgment to not see the true value of what the natural program brings, which is only birth through love. It's birth through love. Um, because our, when we are born through through the mother, it, the, the energy that is, it's born through is through love um creation is love what we what we desire is created through love um otherwise we are born with many blocks and so this is what's happened is that humanity has been born through it blocks and uh issues which is created a society that is completely imbalanced where only a few become abundant and many become in survival and victimized and the more that we as those that are that are going through survival and victimized bring back self-love bring back our power to who we are live in this moment even more and see the true value of their own decisions um and so that becomes the outside reflection rather than the seeking or grasping outside oneself for something to happen so they're still showing me these elders that are sing that are um almost like harmonizing their energy with what their true essence is as the starting point of a whole new creation that's going to be birthed here. And this is where those that have that are coming through that have um, understood the true value of what love is, and it's not to do with um, seeking anything outside themselves, but of knowing that that first breath that they took when they were born is love, is their decision to be in this body and moving into an adventure on with Gaia, with, with Mother Earth, um, and on her, um, 
to be to be of true value to the whole experience of all that will surround that you in the journey that you're taking and that means that everything in this journey comes back to acceptance of the journey of oneself and to accept all of that as love and so then we walk through this world knowing that we are loved because we are love itself and it cannot be separated by the illusion of trying to seek it outside of us without acknowledging it within us and so the story will turn the story will shift into through that self acceptance self acceptance and acceptance of the whole journey of what you've gone through then you have a clean slate and you can now shift your story into more value into more alignment of what makes you happiest and not with no not with the fear of the repercussions of what's going to happen out of it but of the joy of knowing that each step taken through self love will only bring more love um it's like walking a happy step and a happy step and a happy step you can't go wrong because each step that you're taking is a happy step um and uh so this at this moment that for some reason the whales keep coming into the picture mother earth keeps bringing the whales in and um their their song they they do a spiral they do a dna spiral when they do this there's a vibration that they're literally calling for humanity to come back into their original blueprint of love itself being born on this planet and that the nurturing will come from that self knowing or realization of themselves and it has nothing to do with your partner or your children's love or your anyone else's love but your own and then everything else comes in as that reflection um and the story becomes a love story and so we start to create a, a beautiful new story knowing that each and every one of us has a value to give whether that be that they in their own understanding of themselves holds energy to allow others to flourish into their creative endeavors and they don't look like they're doing much at all but they are holders of energy um or whether it is that they are physical workers and love to get in there and move things around with their physical body and that there's no difference in value and this is what's awakening just like a bird that needs to bring in you know food for the ch children and go off and make the nest and so forth. Nobody teaches that bird how to do that other than it's already a blueprint within itself of knowing who they are and so they act like a bird. A, a, a cat will always act like a cat. Dog will always act like a dog. You know, I can't tell my dash hand not to jump all over me and get all excited. Every day she's going to do that, even if I'm like, I have had enough of the excitement, just chill. She will chill for a little bit, but then she just gets all excited again. You know, it's it, the love just oozes out of her, and that's the way the love oozes out of her. Um, we are a lion is a lion, an elephant is an elephant. Everything is its own authentic self. It doesn't need somebody to tell it what it is or what it isn't. Uh, only humans do that. Only humans have been taught 
So this whole breaking down or coming back to self-love is literally breaking down those generational cycles of all of that that has happened that was out of balance to bring us back into balance, to be able to understand fully, fully from our heart's perspective. Like we can say this in our mind, oh, yes, I am I am self-love. I know self-love. I thought I was. I thought I understood it. But it wasn't until I, I literally thought everything was falling away from me in my life. So it is a massive journey that's going on and they wanted me to go through this now at the same time as bringing in the messages of the whales because the whales are coming into or there's a there's an awakening within humanity enough to be able to to, ha- to hear or to feel into the original blueprint program that the whales have been holding for humanity we are in frequency balance with them. They don't, all they do is is sing their song. And that's why the originals in Australia, they call it the dreaming, where they are dreaming in the next story, the next story and the next story. And that's why the universe is called the universe. It's because you are the central point, the uni person, one per- point of of you, of your song that you are dreaming into existence. And when we start to realize the power in that, but coming from absolute self-love of self, the story that we're going to create is so magnificent, so beautiful, so um, aware of itself. Was there any other messages that needed to come through at this moment? Awareness, self-awareness. So they're showing me more core of ourselves and then layer and layer and layer of programming or blockages of the core self. Each layer that we take off, we get closer to the core self. And the only true way that you're probably going to be able to find who you are, if you do go through one of those moments that I've gone through where you feel like everything is breaking away and you're like, oh my gosh, that's it. You know, the everything that I seeked outside of myself for love is falling away from me. They're wanting you to come back into self-preservation of understanding the true value of who you are. And when you, that's why they said, remind yourself that when you took your first breath, you took it through love because you cannot exist in this world unless you took that first breath through what, wanting to be here, wanting through love of self, whether that meant that you had to go through a lot of lessons because self-love was going to take you on a journey of reflecting all that that you were seeking outside of yourself that you didn't never find found within you and that meant that all of that was going to keep compounding back at you and showing you the ugliness of what you had told what you hadn't seen within yourself anything that was ugly that was outside of you is just a pure lack of the love that you have within your own self so the monsters that we create the, the things that we think are the are the worst things out in this world is just because we haven't found the power within us through self-love that, that doesn't exist when we come back to our original blueprint of just love itself going on a journey and taking each step and trusting that and not allowing the logical mind to dictate how it's going to be happening because of somebody else has told us it has to be that specific way that it happens 
And so you're only seeking that way for it to happen, which is going against your whole soul's purpose of finding happiness in each step that you take. So bring yourself back to to self-love. Know that that first breath you took was through love. And then if if you can't um, feel into the whales, don't worry about it. You are water anyway. And the whales vibration is always sending messages out to every part of water on this planet in the, the we are held by water. Um, it will it will permeate. It will permeate. I don't even know if that's a word. I'll have to look that one up. Permeate um, you. Uh, like they're showing me like going going into the skin or something, going into your body, resonating with you. Um, so there's going to be uh, tribes that are coming back together through uh, those that hold on to the original stories. Um, so the original people of the land are starting to find the power of unity within their family environment again and how how to work together without judgment, um, breaking down of those stories of not seeing the power of that um, and fall, falling victim into worrying about survival mode. Um that is diminishing the power is coming back and the, those there are those that are born that are the the re- remnants of that's another word i don't know <laughs> remnants of ancient so i hope that i'm using these words in the right place because sometimes they come through and i'm like is that the right way to use? anyway that's what they're giving me so the remnants of their um original uh, blueprint itself that was in another life and they were the guardians of specific codes or energies or understandings of power within themselves and then and there are those that are born now from the from many lifetimes ago when they held that that power and so just like people that were reincarnated um, are coming back from that power. So they are going to stand up, find themselves again, stand up, take that power back, lead lead or guide um, their tribes in a manner of coexistence again and also remembering the codes of the whales remembering the codes of the different animals as our, like gathering all of the pieces of ourselves back again interesting like all the different animals have something to give to us and m- many many resonate with those certain gifts or those certain animals and then they have a specific place or piece of the puzzle within the family dynamics or village that they are seen as like an avatar, I see you. Um, they're seen as their authentic self and not as the program that was pulled over their eyes to make them fall into being a victim and losing who they are. So yeah, there's a lot of of that happening at, at the moment as well. A uh, calling, a calling is going on, and they will teach those that have many generations of losing who they are, um, the white man, so to speak. I don't like saying that because I think that we all are of rainbow colors. <laughs> but they're bringing it up in that that content so that the logical mind can have an understanding because that's how the history went. Um, 
but of those that have had generations and generations of losing themselves and becoming more and more engrossed, engrossed into only finding their value, true value by gathering things outside themselves to make them look pretty or good or whatever. Um, and where the core essence is really in the value of the community working well together um, in harmony and having a, that peace that you want to step into. Um, so those that are of original um, native understanding are gathering in family formats again or tribes again and and then they are going to teach those that have lost their family dynamics um, and unity how to work in as one in a collaborated unit to form peaceful pods, peaceful peaceful groups or pods of people, um, and then be able to connect back to Mother Gaia again, Earth, the whales and then to the stars and all of the understandings that those that are bringing from their soul's lineage of the stars down as well. So we are bringing heaven on earth and heaven within earth on earth. So there's this whole beautiful balance coming in from etheric to material as well, where the material world becomes the heaven. And so heaven on earth or utopia on earth becomes through, through these beautiful people who have been born now remembering who they are and the power of them speaking as that. And that is all to do with that harmony that's coming from the whales as well, uh, that vibrational meat. Um, and then not to worry about, not don't get go into, but they've killed so many of the whales and how beautiful. The, that storyline is all part of where they're, they're literally saying to me, this is really interesting, I never thought of it like this, where the whales harm a cowed, held vibration within their flesh and because they couldn't meet humans in that vibrational meat, the eating of the whale meat helped or the whale blubber that was used in many products and stuff helped. This is so, wow, helped the, that vibration to be infiltrated into the body of, of humans. And, and so they... They didn't they they gave their life for humans to hold vibration while they were separated from the vibration, but we don't need to do that anymore when we are moving into these high frequencies. We'll see the true value of them as their frequency rather than their flesh and and so forth for everything else in this world. The, the frequency, how it will become more important, not to say that. It's not needed. It's not needed as a consumption, but it would be taken in as absolute gratefulness. Where everything you eat becomes a ritual. It is a ceremony. It is something of true value, tribute to that that you have, that you are consuming. And then that gratefulness and understanding of the power behind it. Uh, means that what you put in your what you consume put your put in your body um will enlighten and spark consciousness within every cell of you as well you're not just eating for the sake of eating or consuming for the sake of consuming which then puts on you know gives you a, a body and reflection of that um where every cell is put in its place and its rightful place because of the gratefulness of the cells that you're eating. It's, there's something to do with that. Um, and that's why those of higher benevolence can hold their 
frequency of their body in a certain uh, beauty, in a certain beauty, a certain alignment with what they really truly feel they are within themselves. Yes, so there's something there as well. It's interesting. But, yeah, as we start to recognize the true value of things and then we resonate with them in a frequency that is going to hold a lot of wisdom, understanding. Um, The core beliefs of humanity will change and shift. We no longer have to fight for our survival. We are We become life itself and life becomes us. And so there's no fighting against life. There just is is an existence of self moving through this world moment to moment through the love of who we are. So, yes, I had to bring that one through. That was pretty, pretty cool last night. Uh, the understanding of that meat of us clearing a slate. And uh, I think I've brought it up. They they have brought it up in other channel messages that I've had with, to clear the slate of what we start with so that it's, everything's broken down. And then it came back to vibration. And then it came to the whales and then the base of Gaia herself and the whole understanding of who we are and the true value of who humanity is and what we can gift to this world Um, and then the family values and all of that coming back, the the tribal values of of working together and trusting each other and non-judgment and all that that will start to come into play through the awakening of those that hold those codes. Yeah, really cool. I love this message. I really love this message. Um, Yeah, I don't know where this is all going to lead us at this moment, but I just have this really good feeling that everything's going to be okay. Actually, everything's going to be more than okay. Until next time, see ya.